Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as I go through the new terrain pattern or weather shelter from Snugback. Right, welcome back everyone. So as in the intro today, we're out to talk to you about this. So this is the All Weather Shelter G2 uh, in terrain pattern from Snugpack. And you can see that I've got behind me the Jungle Hammock um, terrain pattern set up behind me, which I've done a review video of, which I'll leave up here for you now. But the uh, G2 All Weather Shelter is one of my favourite tarps, and I have done review videos on this, and I've also done a lot of tarp tips on this using uh, the Ultimate Tarp Setup. Uh, which I'll leave links in the description box below to them videos so you can go ahead and check them out. Uh, so the, the tarp itself is identical to the G2, just obviously the colour and the pattern. So let's get it open up and see what we get inside. This is the first time that I've actually got this tarp out of the bag and I can already see one difference straight away there. The Stunk Pack logo is actually emblazoned on the tarp now that's not on the G2 in olive. Uh, but I do actually quite like that. It's quite subtle in the corner. You know, on some of the tarps that I've picked up recently, the, the logos have been overpowering. Uh, but yeah, I really do like this. And there's a, a close look at the terrain pattern for you as well there. Right, let's put some uh, tie-up points on and uh, get this tarp set up. So included in the pack um, are sort of four paracord guy lines and then eight standard aluminium pegs. So I'm just going to show you how I set up uh, a guy line onto a, a new tarp like this. So first of all, just sort of unravel it. Get them into individuals. And normally I would add a little bit of paracord, uh, a little bit of bungee cord onto here just to give me a little bit of wind resistance. But I'm just showing you what you get in the pack here. Uh, so first of all, go through and make a cow's hitch or lark's head knot going through, and then just pull down, tie that off. And then with this bit, make a fisherman's knot by going over, around, back under, and then back up the centre of both cross points. Really quite nice cord to work with as well this, a non-slip, yeah and then you've obviously got that little bit of adjustment as well and then you, a second bit of hanging point there for all the ex excess cord if you're going back, tying a loop and coming back up, so you've got somewhere for the cord to sit. But yeah that's what I'm going to do on all uh, four tie out points on the corners, so I'll bring you back in a second.
Right, well, welcome back everyone. So as uh, you've seen, I've set up this new all-weather shelter G2 in terrain pattern from Snugback and I am quite impressed. There are a few differences actually to the G2, uh, which I'll show you in a, in a second. But we'll, first of all, we'll go through what it says on the pack about it and show you what you get, obviously. So like the little stuff sack or uh, carry bag, whatever you want to call it for it. Right, so yeah, on the... Uh, card. What I do like about snug pack gear as well is you get all these little carry cases which you know don't have to be used um, for the shelter or you know for the hammock or anything like that. You can put whatever you like in them and use them as like little pack boxes or whatever. Um, I've got my hammock accessories in, in one of the um, base layer tops uh, pouches, but yeah, so they the really are good. So there's that clear window as you can see there, and then just can see what exactly what you get so I do like this sort of feature that you come with so yeah we'll go through what it says on, on pack um, and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it uh, so again it says it's ideal for bushcraft it's 100% waterproof uh, there's multiple options uh, with some instructions included on how to pin it out so it does give you a few different type shelters and things to set up in there I will probably get around to doing a few of them for you with this tab just so you can uh, see them done um, where else have we got um, again the stuff sack which simply folds away which again has got the snug pack load on but it's subtle in black you can hardly sort of see it unless you are sort of looking for it but yeah that's uh, it so it's it uh, dimensions are 3 by 3 meters or 10 foot by 10 foot the weight is 1000 grams or 35 ounces Pack size 24 by 20 by 10 or 9 by 8 by 4 inches. Uh, included are four 13 foot guy, guy ropes uh, and adjusters and eight ultralight alloy stakes. So, yeah, uh, that's it basically. Right, let me show you this difference that I've just spotted as well. This is one of the differences that I've spotted on the tarp. Um, on all the tie out points it's been reinforced with a little bit of sort of plastic tarpaulin on the back but yeah it's double stitched all the way around as you can see there and then tape seamed um, up on the ridge line one so if you're a regular to the channel you'll know that i have used the g2 all weather shelter in a number of my videos hammocking is my preferred way to camp and um, but i do do other types you know bivy bagging and tenting that sort of thing but hammocking is my favorite way and the g2 is the type that i've set up uh for my personal preferences, uh, again using the ultimate tap setup that I've uh, done a video on, so there'll be a link in the description for that. But yeah, I do like the G2. It gives you a lot of coverage, gives you a lot of tie-out points, gives you a lot of configuration sort of setup ideas. Um, it's really good, and again, it packs up and rolls away really nicely. Even when you put all the uh, tie-out points on, like I I do on the ultimate tap setup, so I have a permanent ridge line normally, as opposed to two tie-off points. Uh, but yeah one permanent ridge line which i will be putting on this um i do really do like it i need to find some uh terrain pattern paracord though or something don't I, for the ridge line <laughs> but yeah for for now this has been a, a review and a quick look at the all weather shelter g2 in terrain pattern if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you thought if you're not already subscribe to the channel by pressing this and i'll leave some more videos here and here for you see you in the next one